This is Simplicity 8331. This was one of the first ones that I did. I think I did version E and version F. So E is the small one and F is the bigger one. So I had Christmas fabrics. You know how I like to recycle all my Christmas fabric. So I made this. I know, isn't it cute? I used um, fabric that I had. So I had to actually sew this panel onto more fabric to make it fit the size that I needed. It has plastic on the bottom that keeps the shape on the bottom. So if you actually look at it, it's totally Santa. And on the inside, I had more fabric with Christmas stuff. So this is the inside. I guess you could turn it inside out. It has a little pocket. It has a little flap here that goes on the button. I put there, so that's the inside. I actually like that too. And then put it back on the outside. If you're learning to sew, start small and use fabric that you have, or you know, cut things apart, sheets and things like that, and make the mistakes. Because when you make that mistake, when I made my first buttonhole, I'm like, okay, I know what I did wrong. You have to measure the button actually so that it fits in. So that's one of them. McCall's 3033, image F is the one that I made, it's the shoulder above the elbow capelet. This pattern I picked up at a second hand store, it's this one right here. I am in the learning stages of sewing so I decided I would use whatever fabric I had and I didn't have enough to finish the capelet, but I managed to get something fun out of it. I decided to do a Christmas themed one because I had extra Christmas fabric from stockings and things. Or when you get panels of fabric, I actually attached two pieces here. You can see the, the threading here, but I made a cute little winter scene on the back. The cape has like a um, sweatshirt jersey on the outside and on the inside I decided to use whatever fabric I had. I ran out of fabric so I do have two different colors on the inside. But it was a learning curve so it was all good. I just wanted to see if I could make a capelet that would actually look pretty decent. I have worn this on the outside of a black coat to a flea market which had a Christmas themed bazaar going on and I had a couple of people smile at me and wish me a Merry Christmas, which was fun, right? So that's the Christmas themed capelet. The same capelet I made for when I go out on evenings dancing with my friends and family. I think it's cute, it's darling. You can wear a sleeveless dress and then have this cover it up. So these are the two capelets that I made Christmas themed and evening themed that I also made this B version. This is the B one, also Christmas themed. There we go, Santa and stockings hung on the shoulders with care. Cover-ups, capelet A and B are unlined with optional trim detail. Shrug C is self-lined as has ruffle detail. Shrug D is unlined, has set-in sleeves. Capelet E and F are lined. Capelet E has trim detail. The pattern and all the fabrics that you see are recycled, let's just say. People have had remnants and I've collected them. These are actually from, I guess you get panels of um, Christmas themed fabric. And uh, my sister was actually had used what she wanted and I'm like, I'll take them. So I did. It's two-sided because you know I was going crazy with all those remnants I had. Here's the front. And you can wear this over a coat 
over a sweater. Someone, my sister suggested it would be a great tree skirt, which is fine. You undo the red button on top and you turn it around. What you do is you get the panels from, you know how you have stockings and they come with little extra panels on the fabric? So that's what these are. These are just little extra pieces that were on a fabric, a Christmas themed fabric. And um, you turn this one around and we have a different Santa scene, which I like as well. So that can go on the back of a coat or as a cape or to a party. It's just fun. It just goes above your shoulders. I mean, it goes above your elbows. And that was fun. Then I made another Christmas themed kimono. This Simplicity 5839, it's a June Coburn Design 11. It's the shorter version, the B version. This was part of the Joy Viv Topper Challenge. I, I've worn it evening wear, going out dancing. It's um, the B version right there. It's from 2002. It's a kimono ohari. And the hari is a smaller, shorter version that would go over your kimono to keep it clean. The sleeves are just beautiful. That's the sleeve. I'm showing it to you. There's an opening on the bottom here. And what I did learn from doing this one is the attachment. It's two loops that you tie with a string which I'm thinking, that's genius, because if you don't have a hook and eye, if you don't want to put buttons, if you don't have a zipper, there's an opportunity to tie it with just a little tie that goes through two hoops. It was a good learning curve on this one. This is fabric I think I did purchase for exactly this reason, to make toppers. I know I didn't pay a lot of money, because being in the learning curve, anything above five dollars a yard is not happening with me right now because I want to make sure that when I sew I'm enjoying it if I make a mistake I don't want to start crying and being upset I want to be able to pull it apart make a hole fix the hole put it back together sew it again and learn I'm here to learn and sewing is such a great thing to do pastime hobby just to keep yourself busy your mind busy and um, taking the challenges so I think eventually I'm getting ready to buy, I think I'm going to get ready to buy fabric, but I have so much donated fabric right now that I'm just going to keep sewing for fun. These I can actually wear. A lot of the stuff I make is not my size, but I'll sew it on the size it is and then learn how to, I want to say grade up. Yes, grade up, which is another learning curve, which I'm enjoying. So that kimono is 5839 Simplicity. And it's to wear over sleeveless dresses, nightwear. As sheer as it is, it's actually quite hot. Like you actually do get hot in it. It keeps the heat in. So I hope you enjoy it. So here's my New Year's Eve kimono and my Christmas kimono. And I'm gonna put on the back of this video a clip of the most darling little girl wishing Santa a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all, happy holidays. Enjoy the season and be kind to one another. <laughs> totally good. Merry Christmas. On you, eh? John say hi. Merry Christmas, Santa. You're the best. Merry Christmas. High five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you later. Thank you so much, Bye -bye. Santa.